Cable TV News at One. My name is Michelle Kereto. We begin with an explosion in Kayole. A plot in Kayole catches fire today in the morning. It's a doubtful situation as no one knows the cause of the fire and three people are nursing injuries. Mina, but to Kiangalia Kudingana Nasisi are to Fikiri Yonikas. Jugasa yezi karipua ilipue kutoka ground floor baka third floor inatuanisha milango zote na niza chuma, dirisha imearibu zote, ceiling huko juu, third floor hakuna, hakuna mabati huko juu. Vitu zenye tutukua tumeeka kama huko na vitu kama vio, hiyo, hiyo nini, hiyo mripuko ilifanya hadi hizo zika pasuka kama ulikuwa umeeka vitu juu zika anguka. Hiyo tunashuku, hiyo si gas. Kwa hiyo nyumba ilikuwa na watu watatu. Bibi, Bona na mtoto na wote waliungua na wakapeleko hospitali wako huko mamalusi waki shuhurikiwa. Mamu imetupata hapa kwa ya sikuyeti hii ya leo. Atuko shoji ilikuwa strong sana. Mi effect kutoka ground floor maka second. Uko third floor. Hakuna nyumba ikona dirisha milango zote zinengoleo. Ata atuelewi. Plus. Wepa Party Leader Kalonzo Msioka promises the public for free education, both secondary and university levels. That's if he will be elected as the president of Kenya in the next general election. Nilikuwa mstari wa mbele kumshawishi mzee Kibaki a declare free primary education. Ilifanyika hai kufanyika. Sansa with that experience. Nataka netangaze serikali tukutaka yaunda ya oka Waipa ikuwa mstari wa mbele Itaakikisha kwamba watoto wetu from 1 to from 4 wanasoma bila karo Kwa sababu wazazi wa mesumbuka zaidi Tukimaliza mambo ya free secondary education Ata vio vietu Atutaki watu wanakimbizwa pale na pale Kulipa inaitwa higher education loans board Sijui nini also, Gikomba market catches fire yet again. A lot of the property have been damaged and the cause of the fire is yet to be determined. Leaders are against students strike in schools by which they should be punished and parents are urged to talk to their children. There are a lot of reasons why there would be some unrest. The children who are in schools, they don't have models, they don't have models. The other things could be like uh, uh, decision making has become through the media and uh, those items. We don't have places where boys and girls are being guided, are being counseled, are being talked to uh, the right way. The, the children have gone their own way. The problem is deeper and we are only dealing with the surface. And I want to believe that uh, stress here at the Inatokana Yubani. I want to say that as a parent, most of parents don't have time with their children. Na hata wakati wako na time na watoto wao, 
they are not spending that time variably. Maybe they will sit with their children and watch television, wasting a lot of time. Maybe they can use that time to sit with the children, to spare enough time and cancel. So I would urge our parents, Mungu ametupa watoto hawa, to take care of them, to nurture them, to bring them up. We have the responsibility and we have the ability to help these children by cancelling them and spending quality. The screens of Fehiga are, are hopeful about the next tournament in Cairo, Egypt as they prepare themselves for the next tournament after the loss. So we have that hope and we trust so much in ourselves and all is well. In a feel fit, in a feel motivating sana. Tuna Lilia, me I'm happy, nige mietu ya kwanza, tumepata award kutoka kwa kena ni teammate. For you my viewer, thank you for being an active viewer of Sky Cable TV. Thank you to everybody that made this story happen. For these and many updates, this for these and many updates, subscribe to Sky Cable TV. My name is Michelle Carreto. Until next time, see you.